everyone and welcome to The Vault. My name is Allison Cosby and I'm Connor Prairie's exhibit developer. And today I'm going to show you some of my favorite objects from Connor Prairie Farms. So long before Connor Prairie was a museum, we were actually a working farm. Our founder Eli Lilly and his farm managers ran a large-scale livestock operation where prize-winning purebred animals were raised. And later it became more of an experimental farm where cutting-edge science was used to create hardy and productive crossbreeds of animals. So for decades, Connor Prairie Farms was really a first-class farming operation and an example of the dedication to excellence that our founder Eli Lilly brought to everything he did. So let's check out some objects. This here is a sign that was found in Eli Lilly's farm office, and it includes a large aerial photograph of the farm. The farm was so large, it included not just the grounds where Connor Prairie is today, our welcome center, uh, but also property on the other side of the White River. And so you can see here several of the large, really state-of-the-art barns that Lily had built as part of his Connor Prairie Farms. And you can get another view of some of these barns in this painting by Ben Caldwell. I love this painting. I love the deep blue sky and the way the long shadows fall on the buildings. And I love this guy right here. That's a decoration on one of Mr. Lilly's barns, actually his granary. That's a corn god looking over Mr. Lilly's feed corn. So let's go pay him a visit. And here he is right in our vault, Mr. Lilly's corn god. It appears to me to be a Mayan corn god, but we really don't know anything about it. We don't know where it came from. Now, Mr. Lilly was a very talented woodworker. Is it possible that he made it? I suppose, but we really don't know for sure. But we have saved it, and here he is in the vault looking just like he was in the painting. Here's another object from Connor Prairie Farms. It's a statue of a Percheron horse by George Ford Morris. He's an artist who's very famous for his depictions of horses and equestrians. And it shows the typical Percheron body shape, so a thick neck and a stocky body and legs. And Eli Lilly loved Percheron horses, and his daughter Evie loved riding horses too. So that was something that they could do together. And Connor Prairie Farms was the perfect place to do that. So often, when we're trying to piece together the past from the clues that are left behind, we're working with very little. But we're lucky with Connor Prairie Farms that we have so much information left behind. Just years and years of letters and invoices and records of all kinds that help us tell that story. And buried in here are lots of little fascinating gems that make the story that much richer. I came across many fascinating little tidbits in my research, and this is just one of them. This is a letter written to Tillman Bubenzer, that's the farm manager, uh, regarding a heart cell dryer. It's a corn dryer. And this letter was written by O.C. Redenbacher. Yes, that is the Orville Redenbacher. Remember, he was an Indiana farmer before he became the popcorn magnate that we know him as today. So that's just one interesting little tidbit that I found in my research on Connor Prairie Farms. 